I'm going to be real with you and show you exactly how much is needed sometimes to invest into a startup company versus how much you actually make. I'm about to order some stickers for Elemental Mirror, my jewellery brand. I want to get some clear stickers with my logo and stuff on it that will um, be put on the jewellery boxes. So then when they're shipped, it has all of my branding on it. So I found this website randomly. I can't even remember where. It may have been on a YouTube video. Someone talked about this website for the UK. Why does my thing never focus? I don't understand. <laughs> but anyway, it's called stickerapp.co.uk. So I'm going to buy some stickers that will already be printed. And I had to look up the size because I didn't know how big 5 centimeters by 3 centimeters was. So I just had to run and grab my ruler and figure it out. But yeah, so we're going to get those. I just noticed that they offer 84 pieces for 14 or 100 for 17 pounds and I just worked out that it's actually cheaper to buy the 84 than it is the 100 and this is how they get you you know it's so sneaky because if you work out what 84 is so it's 14 pounds divided by 84 pieces so that makes them 16 pence each you know and there's 16 extra to get to 100 so if you times that by 16 it means it's actually two pounds 60 to get that extra 16 but they're charging us three pound extra to get that 16 so it's actually cheaper to just buy the 84 and then buy 84 again when you run out only 40p cheaper but everything adds up okay <laughs> there's a little bargain save for you I forgot that I need transparent stickers because I want them to be clear so it does put the price up a bit but again it is cheaper to buy 86 pieces than it is to buy the 100 so I'm going to do that but I also just realised I need to sort out the actual logo image that I want on it so I've got to do that now before I can order. This is the jewellery box that I am putting my necklaces in. And I want to get a sticky label to go on top for my branding. I just created the logo. This is transparent, that's why it's like this. But it says Crystal Hill in Jewellery, handcrafted by Zana. And then my logo, which is Elemental Mirror. So I'm going to put this into... Well, let me move it to Documents first. And then drag it here so I can actually create my stickers. There it is. Oh, I just hit the camera. And it's going onto transparent stickers, so they're completely clear. I don't know what white looks like on completely clear stickers, but hopefully it comes out okay because it's going on to a black box so it should show through quite easily and that's what it looks like i don't know why my camera won't focus it's really yeah, annoying. i figured it out it's finally trying to autofocus. i think it's just difficult on text like that but hopefully on me it will actually focus but yeah that is what it looks like it's ordered and it's still not focusing the stupid thing Oh, I need to figure this out, but I ordered my stickers, so they're going to come in a few days, like it says 3 to 12 days, so hopefully next week. So now I can go into my calendar and tick off this by stickers, because I did it, I did it. Okay, next task. Oh, we have so many tasks, right. I need to renew my domain name for Solar Drip. I don't use it yet, but you know, we've got to have the domain name ready. You feel me? I'm gonna do it on the actual date. There's no point doing it early. 
what are we going to pay early for? We're going to leave that for the date of when it actually expires, which isn't until next week. So I might as well move that to next week. Shit, that was the wrong one. <laughs> Fuck's sake. That one needs to be now. <laughs> Not next week. What? What? Okay. Join Royal Mail. Click and collect. Not click and collect, click and drop. Oh, I don't even need to join it. I can do it when it's time. Perfect. I need to order goddamn beauty blender. Mine is just disgraceful. I'm just going on to Amazon and I'm gonna get a new beauty blender because mine is literally broken in so many pieces. It's kind of disgusting. <laughs> But what can you do? And I kind of want to order all of this other stuff, but I feel a bit like mm, I'm spending so much money already. But I think we're going to do it because it's essential, <laughs> sort of essential. Um, so this is what I'm going to buy random stuff okay just to warn you i'm getting a door stop because my door always flies open and hits my altar and all of my stuff there i'm gonna get a tea infusing kettle because then i can make my herbs and stuff in a infuser one i want to get a new bin because my bin's too small i have so much rubbish look at this look at this bag do you see this wonderful carrier bag that is just sitting on top of my bin and completely full because I have so much rubbish on a daily basis. It's just essential to get a new bin, which is kind of weird and random, but you know. And I want one with the lid that closes so that it's all clean and nice and neat. So we're going to get that. And then I want to get the shelves that I was telling you about before that's going to allow my altar to go up on um, up on the shelf rather than being on the floor because I don't use it when it's on the floor. Let me stop spending because I will literally buy the world, I'm not going to lie. Oh, that's not too bad. I'll buy the jars later. Oh, that reminds me, I just got a message, now I know what I need to do. Um, create royalty split on distro kit must do that oh how exciting i love buying myself stuff even when it's just like weird stuff like a bin i get super excited <laughs> i feel like that's just showing my age to be honest but fuck it <laughs> this is me guys this is perfection <laughs> oh lord what is shamori? Look, Morty. Okay, I'm gonna put it on my credit card because I'm trying to get my um, credit rating up because it's absolutely shit. So, uh, oh, we can get it today! Oh, Sunday up! It could come today before 10 p.m. Oh, that's just the kettle, but that's fine. <laughs> How sick! Okay, bye now. Ooh, ooh, ooh. We bought it, we bought it. Done. So now we can go back into our wonderful little schedule and tick all of these bad boys off. I haven't ordered the jars that I want for my herbs, but we're gonna do that later because I need to get them off of Ikea and I don't want to spend all my money now and then need to pay my credit card back. Oh, fuck, I didn't add the beauty blender. That was why I went on there. <gasps> Fuck's sake. I'm gonna just do that right now. <laughs> I did the subscribe and save for the beauty blender because I always forget to order it. And now I need to go back into DistroKit, which is the current um, music distributor that I use to get all my music into Spotify and Apple Music and all that kind of stuff. And so we're going to go in there and change the, um, what's it called? The 
royalty splits so that it automatically pays to my producer without me having to pay him the money will like his share of the money will go directly to him rather than me having to do it because it's like a lot of effort to try and work it all out if I have to do it so I'm just gonna set that up I have to do this for quite a few songs because we did a whole EP together I have to do it for the whole EP and then I also have to do it for all of the singles from the EP because I released them all individually as well. He also produced my um, spoken word EP as well. Like he made all of the music for it. So I'm including that one as well with this royalty split. But this royalty split is just for the um, master recording royalties, not for the songwriting or the publishing. The songwriting and publishing we did 50-50 because we both did half each. But for the actual master recording, it's a different split because it's different royalties. Oh Lord, I have a video all about royalties. If you want to check it out, I will link it up here. I just break down all of the um, info on how the royalties work. So. So what's left to do is create my new jewellery and submit my company's corporation tax, um, like the accounts and everything. And then I just have to copy loads of content over from my phone and stuff, which I can do at any point, to be honest. So yeah, there's not that many things left to do. Let me take a vlog because we've been vlogging. Just been sorting out my finances so I can do my company accounts and I'm going to be real with you and show you exactly how much is needed sometimes to invest into a startup company versus how much you actually make and this is in my first year of business and obviously everyone's business is different and what type of industry you're in is different so for music, it's a lot, lot harder and you have to invest a lot more. I swear somebody said one time that it takes a quarter of a million to break an artist. Or maybe they said half a million. They said something crazy amount. And this is what I invested in my first year. So for 2019, I don't know if it's going to focus, but I spent £6,838.41. That's all my expenses that I've totaled up in this spreadsheet. And then I made £174.32. So the difference between expenses and income is drastic when you're first starting out. Back when I was first starting out, I knew nothing about business whatsoever. So it never occurred to me that you need to invest in yourself in order to make any money. Like you have to spend money to make money. And I didn't know that or grasp that or anything. So it's only now looking back, I realised that this is where you get the phrase, um, those that are serious will do it and anyone else that's not serious about what they want won't do it because of how much money, time, focus and dedication you have to put in to become successful or achieve anything, you know, that goes with everything. You have to be able to dedicate yourself to it, otherwise you're literally just going to blow the six grand and make nothing back ever again you know <laughs> so this is just the beginning but I just want to say thank you so 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 much to everyone who has streamed my music downloaded my music bought my jewelry or my merch or supported me in any way even just liking and sharing my posts it really does mean so much and it really does help spread the word about who I am and all of the creative things that I have to offer you so I'm just so so grateful because like even though it's only 174 pound when you compare it to six grand it's nothing but I could have earned nothing do you know what I mean? So I'm just really, really grateful to have even made that and it shows that people were listening to my music and, you know, supporting me. So I'm just really grateful to you. Thank you so much. And I'm so excited for all of the new music that we have coming and all of the new projects that I'm working on that I haven't told you about yet. So yes, and I'm taking you on this journey with me now that I'm vlogging it. So it's just really exciting and I appreciate you. 
I take that back. I actually spent 8,000, oh, it's not focusing, but it's 8,500, not six, because there were some things that I didn't even include. And then the year before that, which is before I'd set up my company, I'd already spent 4,000. So we're looking at like 12 and a half in total for the first year and a half ish or first two years which isn't too bad really and then this year I've spent way more than that <laughs> I don't even know what it is it's like nine and a half thousand already and we're only in October still got time to go and I haven't even added half the stuff for the end of the year of what I've spent because I've spent a lot but it's fine like it's fine we're just investing in ourselves. you have to spend money to make money and it pays off in the end <laughs> also i'd like to add that a lot of my expenses are my equipment and things because making music you need a lot of equipment because i do it at home so a lot of it is like building my own studio that's the majority of my expenses plus my facebook ads and stuff you know so it's not like um other businesses where you don't need to buy equipment or something like my jewelry brand for instance my expenses are in um all of like actually buying the crystals and buying like the labels and the packaging and things like that but for music you need big equipment like let me show you like um those speakers and my computer and my um keyboard and things which aren't on the shelf as well as my what's it called oh i can't even think of the name but all of the equipment basically <laughs> because i had to buy that first but i don't need to buy it again so this year that won't be included because obviously i've already got it and i don't need to buy it another time so yeah, I thought I would add that in case you think I'm literally insane. So now I am just telling HMRC that I have no corporation tax to pay because it's my first year and my expenses and um, everything that's gone out is way, way higher than anything I've made. So that's what I'm doing now. It took me so long to figure this shit out as well, I tell you. All done and submitted. A lot of the financial side of things will require some research like I spend so much time just googling it going on the government website and figuring out what each term means how I have to do it what forms I have to fill out and stuff like there's a lot of shit to it and I'm so excited for the day when I can just hire an accountant and not have to worry about it so I just figured I would show you guys the process because there's a lot to it and I know that some of you will be starting your own businesses too so hopefully this is helpful also mine is a limited company not sole trader so um, some people when they first start out they'll just register as a sole trader but me being impatient I never did that I went straight to limited company so I don't know if it's more complicated when you're a limited company or what I know that like the tax and stuff is all different so just thought I would let you know that that's why I had to fill out this form I don't know what you have to do if you're a sole trader because I never did it you could say I love you I can't get enough But I just want you to myself